Kim checking in with Court Vision TV. I'm with my girl, Miss Chris Wall. Hey, y'all. What it do? <laughs> in front of the Mixed Fit Studio. So, Miss Wall, it's me. you have the Mixed Fit Studio. When did you start your fitness journey? Uh, well, I started my own personal fitness journey in 2011. Okay. Losing 75 pounds in one year. Yeah. 75 pounds in one year. Um, and after I lost my weight, after I lost my first 40, I was really, really excited about it. Wanted uh -huh. to take it to my sisters, wanted to bring it to my mom, my cousins, just anybody, you know, to get them fit and healthy. Okay. And, uh, and what started out as just like a fitness journey for me to start for myself and for my family mm -hmm. ended up being something where I inspired other people and I started teaching at different gyms across Houston. Okay. I was teaching at the house of Darion in 2012. Um, in my own personal class, mm -hmm. and then I um, I opened up my facility in 2013. Okay, so you've been uh, mix fitting, well, mixing fitness and dance mm -hmm. since 2000, since 2013. Well, since 2012. Since 2012. Officially. Okay, officially on your own. Mm -hmm. So being a Louisiana girl, you're from Louisiana, right? My family's from Louisiana. Um, partly Louis, part Louisiana, part Houston. Okay, so with the fitness, how do you balance eating, you know, the right food? And, we, you know, we love crawfish, we love crab legs, boudin, seafood, so mm -hmm. fatty the way that we make it. How do you balance that? Um, well, you know, I'm a southern girl, so I like to eat. I like to eat, I'm not going to lie. You know, um, what I found is I use baby steps mm -hmm. in the beginning. Like, instead of using white rice, I would use brown rice, and I would still make my etouffee. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I kind of take out some of the sodium, some of the salt in it, really. And really just eating in moderation. Okay. Just um, little bites all day long, five meals, but little five small meals all day long. You know, do your three main, then your two... Um, your two snacks in between. Okay. But I had to learn how to balance my life, how to balance that out, because I'm so used to, I think, as a celebrity's wife, and just as a person in general, you know, in being from the South, we eat in excess. Right. You know, we eat till we're full. That's what we're taught we growing up. Celebrate your plate. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep, I can still remember um, Catfish Fridays at my grandmother's house, you know, like we're frying up fish. Yeah. Yes, like, yeah. It goes down like, on Catfish Friday, and I'm like, Every Friday is Catfish Friday, Every especially Friday, during Lent. Yeah. You know what? Any day is Catfish Yeah. Day, you know, honestly. But um, I just had to learn how to eat in moderation. Okay. Eat smaller portions, really watch my portions, really watch my calories. And when I started doing that, I saw the weight just fall off, along with working out, okay. along with having, like, an actual routine. So what is, like, your daily regimen? Because losing a lot of weight at one time, when it falls off, it's like, okay, well, it's off. Let me just chill now. I don't have to work out anymore. Right. What made you, like, want to keep going? What made me want to keep going is seeing the effect it had on other people. Just seeing these women um, and the women around me losing the weight, feeling better, feeling great, you know, it made, it motivated me to go even harder. Uh -huh. And just being proud of what I've accomplished, you know, once you get it off, you don't want to go back. Right. You don't want to go back. And I spent a really, really long time being overweight. Mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, I didn't start out that way, but I gained 100 pounds with my first baby. Oh, and wow. And I couldn't shake it off. Uh -huh. And I did everything. You name it. I did lipo. I did diet pills. I did it all. And it would, I would get it off. And it would come right back because I like to eat, yeah. you know. But once I changed my diet and I got a really, um, just a, an, a regular exercise routine, mm -hmm. then my life changed. I noticed that, oh, I may be able to eat a little bit of crawfish etouffee every now and then. You know, I know I'm working that off. I'm burning those calories. Um, but also, you know, just trying to eat a little bit healthier. Okay. So working out, eating healthy, do you ever feel pressure because you are a rapper's wife? He is on the Grammy board. You know, you go to the Grammys, mm -hmm. you do the red carpet. Do you ever feel that pressure like, let me go to Build a Babe and give me a booty and, and bigger chest and, and let me do all this to make sure that, you know, I'm picture, picture perfect in a celebrity eye? At one point, I think I probably did feel that way, maybe a little bit. I've always, but... I've always loved me. Yeah. So I like me. So, yeah. you know, big me, little me, I'm a like me regardless. Right. And I know that as a woman, our bodies are going to change. Mm -hmm. We're going to go up and down. We're going to get older one day. You know, things are going to go south. You know, I'm not opposed to picking things back up. I'm right. seriously not opposed to right. it. You know? Right. But um, I just know 
that my body's gonna go through different things. What I'm like mentally, what I feel like on the inside, like that's what really matters to uh -huh. me the most. At one point, I think I may have focused on the outside a little bit too much because you do have that pressure or you feel that pressure to try to look perfect or to be what the rapper's wife is supposed to look like. Yeah. However, nobody looks like what they supposed to look like in anyone else's mind, you know? Like you, as long as you feel good and you look good to yourself, uh -huh. that's what matters. If he ain't complaining either, like, right. hey, hey, I'm good. Right. So I never really, I didn't get caught up in it as much. I never wanted to build a booty because I always had a booty. Right, right. I never wanted to get fake boobs because I always had a lot of boobs. <laughs> I did, like, <laughs> I've always had boobs. Since third grade, I was walking like, through the door, C-cup, third grade. You know? <laughs> Don't give me no more. We don't yes, need no any thank more. You. No, no thank, thank you. you. No thank you. <laughs> so with already knowing your body, being with the fitness, I got a chance to, to sweat it out with those ladies. And let me tell you, honey, this is a real workout. Mm. If you just do Zumba, you're going to need to step it up. Keep you're going to need to step it up. You got to show me what were some of those moves that you were doing. What, so, okay, yes, yeah, explain. Tell me, tell me the most important one. Well, okay, so the most important thing is to have fun. Okay. Let go, let loose. That's rule number one. We okay. are all Beyonce. Okay. That's um, my favorite girl to be. All right. Yes, B. We yes. gotta be B. But also we gotta be us. And so in mixed fits, I like to leave it on the floor and have a, a little bit of good clean ratchet fun. Okay. So we may twerk. Yeah, we're gonna pee pop a little bit. Yeah. You know, we may do the chicken head. A yeah, little okay, bit. all right, all right, uh, all right. I call that my single, single, double. Your single, single, yes. double. It helps people understand. Like, it really helps people to remember that because they don't know the yeah, chicken no, head. Yeah, no, I saw you on one. Yeah, yeah. I saw you counting for the Not double time. Not everybody yeah. knows how the chicken head with it. Hey, but you know, if you give them the base of it, that single, single, double, then yeah. they can catch on real easy. Um, I like to put a little shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it in it. Shake okay. it up. Okay. Shake it up. Then you can take it around. Roll it. Swirl? Roll it. She working. That's Have swirl. fun with it. That's what it's all about. It's just having fun with it and not making it such a big deal. Yeah, because it didn't feel like a workout yeah. at all. At all. And those ladies, they left it on the floor. Yeah. All of it. I want it to always feel like a party. Yeah. Always. If somebody wants to come work out with you and leave it all on the floor, where can they come? They can come right here to Mix Fit Studios, 250 Patton Street, Suite D. Right here. Everybody is welcome. Come on, join the party. Please come and join y'all. I had a great time. I didn't sweat. I'm a little curls out. <laughs> I had a great time with her. She plays great music. It's a lot of fun. And you are keeping the score even with your girl Kim Kim and Miss Chris Wild, baby. All right.